He's been Hamas leader in the Gaza Strip since 2017, but now the group has named Yahya Sinwar as its new political chief at large. Born in a refugee camp in the southern Gazan city of Khan Yunis, Sinwar is a founding member of Hamas, establishing the group's security service in the late 1980s. Arrested and sentenced to four life terms in 1988, the 61-year-old has spent decades of his life in Israeli prisons, but was one of the 1,027 Palestinians released by Israel in a prisoner exchange deal in 2011. It's really an indescribable feeling. There is no doubt that this is a nationalistic event par excellence. It is one of the big strategic events in the history of our people's cause in the past years. Post-release, Sinwar quickly rose through the ranks again and played a political and military figure during the seven-week Gaza war between Israel and Hamas in 2014. Elected Gaza Strip chief seven years ago, Sinwar rarely appeared in public but kept a firm grip over the enclave. If the entire world won't move, take action and stop Israel, this will be the cause for the eruption of a major religious war in the region and threatens a status of unrest and chaos in the Middle East and the entire world. However, considered the architect behind the October 7th attacks, it goes without saying Sinwar is Israeli enemy number one. This new promotion to Hamas's top job could be seen as a message of defiance to the Israeli government. In deep hiding since October 7th, he's believed to be in tunnels underneath Gaza, and Israel has been open that he's top of its kill list. The one who decided on this despicable attack was Yahya Sinwar, the sovereign of the Gaza Strip. Therefore, him and the whole system under him are as good as dead. His new role is also likely to raise doubts about the future of a potential ceasefire deal, though a Hamas spokesperson has said Sinwar will continue negotiations.